A Western story about three cowboys, Tai Gu, Shang Yi, and Do Wan, who fight for a map that led to a treasure. Who gets the treasure, and who manages to live another day? Guess you'll have to stick around to the end to see how the whole story unfolds. Hello, and welcome to Comedy Recap. Today we will give you a recap of the film, The Good, The Bad, and The Weird. Spoilers ahead, obviously. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. The movie starts off with an old man ordering his messenger to deliver a very important map to Kinimaru, and that to do it secretly and not let bandits get to know about it. The old man also tells the messenger that the ruthless killer Cheng Yi is also involved. The old man is seen talking to Cheng Yi and asking him to steal back the map from Kinimaru, who will be heavily guarded on the train to which Cheng Yi accepts. Later we see a scorching desert where the train was moving through. Inside, we get to see a man serving rice cakes, where when he reaches Kinimaru's block, he took his pistols out and shot the guards. The man revealed he was Tegu, a robber. Tegu orders everyone to stand up, and then orders the weaponless guards to pull down the bags from the top, and then tells one of the two ladies to open the bag, which had all the expensive items and money. Tegu got excited after finding that out. He then told the lady to open the second bag, which had a pistol, to which the lady saw an opportunity. We then come to see Chang Yi outside and in front of the train, and on the train tracks who planted a trap on the track by placing some burning wood blocks in order to slow down the train. The train driver saw the trap and pulled the brakes. Coming back inside the train where Tegu misfires but manages to shoot everyone in the room except a lady. Later we see the bandits rushing into the train. The driver also got out to check on the man outside and gets killed by Chang Li's men. We then see all the passengers rushing out of the train in fear when they are shot down and killed by Cheng Li's men. We then see Tae Gu in the room stealing all that he can. Tae Gu rushes through the stuff in the bag and manages to find a map. We then see the entry of the bounty hunter Du Wan from the other side of the train where he shoots down Cheng Li's men. Cheng Li manages to reach Kinimaru's room. Tae Gu cleverly moved into the driver block of the train, started it, and escaped. Cheng Li went to the driver's block and found out that Tae Gu had escaped. Cheng Li then started to shoot at Tai Gu. Du Wan, who heard the gunshots, got out of the window and started shooting him, where Cheng Li started to shoot back. Du Wan realized that one of Cheng Li's men was behind him, so he jumped out through the train window to escape. Du Wan saw the thief, Tai Gu, escaping, so he started to chase him. Both of them ran until a bike came to rescue Tai Gu, where Tai Gu escaped. Tai Gu was then seen having lunch with his buddy, who rescued him. His accomplice, after thoroughly reading the map, finds out and tells Taigu that it was a treasure map. Taigu sends his accomplice off to the ghost market to research, and he himself went to his room and slept. Later, some men are seen trying to enter Taigu's room in order to steal the map. Taigu escaped through the room window and climbed to another room. The man chased Taigu and tried shooting him down, but Taigu managed to escape. Later, we see Chang Yi coming back to meet the old man and demanded a lot of money to which the old man flipped out and tried shooting Chang Yi, where Chang Yi dodged and jabbed a knife into the old man's neck and killed him. Chang Yi went to the old man's safe and stole his possessions. Sometime later, Chang Yi's men came and informed him that the man who stole the map was attacked last night and that he escaped leaving for the ghost market. We then see Tae Gu arriving at the ghost market and meeting his accomplice. Tae Gu tells him about the fight that happened last night. The accomplice told Tae Gu that a lot of people were after the map and then told him that the map pointed towards a location of a chest that was buried in lots of quantities. Tae Gu got excited after hearing that and told his grandmother about all the luxuries they were about to step upon. Tae Gu suddenly felt alerted and shots got fired through the window. Tae Gu hid his map in his grandmother's pocket and hid her in the closet. He then tried fighting off the guys that were shooting at him. He heroically fought all and escaped on his bike. Later, as Taigu is escaping through the desert, he gets shot down by Du Wan, who is waiting for him from far away. Du Wan investigates Taigu about the map, to which Taigu tells him that the map led to a hidden treasure and that they could find it together and split it. Du Wan gets greedy and decides to team up. Du Wan ties Taigu and takes him to his home. On the other hand, we get to see Cheng Yi getting informed by one of his men that Taigu was the one who stole the map. We then see the accomplice friend of Tai Gu selling a fake treasure map, sold it to Bu Yong Chun, who was an old friend of Tai Gu and who also attacked Tai Gu that night. Tai Gu arrives back at the ghost market. Later, we see Cheng Yi arriving and meeting the accomplice friend and asking him about Tai Gu. The friend tries to fight him off, but gets beaten down, and Cheng Yi tries to cut his finger, but suddenly, Tai Gu came and started shooting at Cheng Yi to rescue his friend. Du Wan heroically fought off the bandits while Tai Gu demanded back his guns from Du Wan. Tai Gu tries to find his friend but fails. 
Cheng Yi realizes that Duan is butchering his men and tries to escape. Next, Duan and Taigu found themselves trapped in a room with Cheng Yi's men on the other side where the Ghost Market's gang arrives chasing off Cheng Yi and his men. Taigu saw his injured friend tied to the horse of the bandit and rescued him. Taigu and Du Wan are also seen in another part of the desert where they discuss what they'll do with their part of the fortune. Bu Yong Chun and his men followed the fake map and found themselves at the end of the land betrayed. Taigu wanders off and finds a place where he meets a man who was the owner and demands what the place was. The man knew Taigu and took him to a private room. There the man drugged Taigu and stole his map and locked him in prison. A man came into the prison to get food. Taigu stabbed him and then escaped. Taigu then fought off the owner and got his map back. The general and his man came for the map that the owner had promised but realized that they were killed and the map was gone. Bu Yong Chun and his team of bandits see Taigu escaping on his bike and started to chase him. On the other hand, the army general also got greedy when he found out what the map actually led to. Du Wan arrived and tried to help Taigu by shooting down Bu Yong Chun's men. The general later also arrived at the scene and ordered his men to shoot down everyone. Du Wan saw what was going on and started to shoot the general's men and successfully manages to kill a bunch. The general then decided to shoot artillery shots at all the bandits, which everyone tried dodging, but most failed. Taigu is now running alone in the middle of the desert and trying to locate the treasure. He then sees it, clears it off and starts to dig. Du Wan caught Taigu and ordered him to dig. Taigu disagrees and started to fight Du Wan barehanded. Both of them realized that they were standing on a thin platform where a few seconds later a blast goes off revealing a huge area below. Cheng Yi spotted them both and started firing at them. He then confronts them and challenged them to a duel to see who was the best and throws in a bag full of cash and jewelry for the lone survivor to keep. All three of them proceeded for the duel and took their positions and after a brief moment started to shoot. They all managed to injure each other while Taigu surviving by having a metal plate under his shirt. A few months later, we see that Taigu is now wanted and Du Wan, who was also alive, is looking for him. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.